Have you ever wondered what settings to use in the game to make sure that all your bullets register, there is no input lag, smooth visuals and you have high FPS? It's been over a year since CS2 launch and 9 months since my last video on game settings. A lot has changed in terms of optimization since then. I watched over 20 videos and read tons of forum posts, so trust me, I've got plenty to share. These are the settings used by pros like Monacy, Dong, Nico and others. In this video, you'll get a detailed guide not only on game settings, but optimizing your whole PC. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and like the video. Let's jump in. First, let's start with Windows settings. Go to the control panel, then mouse settings and head to pointer options. Make sure the Enhanced Pointer Precision box is unchecked. This is a must, no matter which shooter you're playing. Next, head to Power Options. Here you need to select Ultimate Performance. Actually, that is the best mode Windows offers. If you don't see it, press Win plus R, type CMD and enter the command I'll include in the video description. Refresh the page and it would show up. Also, don't forget to turn off the screen sleep mode when you're AFK. Make sure you're using a local account to avoid unnecessary synchronization or other unwanted processes. The next step is to disable automatic Windows updates. To do this, go to Settings, then the Update and Security tab and select Pause Updates for 7 more days. Go back to Settings, choose the Personalization tab, then navigate to Colors, select Dark Mode and turn off Transparency effects. This tab disables all unnecessary Windows visual effects that can steal your precious FPS. Next, return to Settings, choose Gaming and turn off the Game Bar. To fully disable it, you'll need to tweak the registry. Press Win plus R, type Regedit and open the registry editor. Navigate to HKey Current User, then Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version and Game DVR. Right-click, select New, DWORD 32-bit value, name it Op Capture Enabled and ensure its value is set to 0. The next step is to go to the Game Mode tab. Make sure Game Mode is turned on as it prioritizes any running game over other applications. There's also a Graphic Settings tab here. Whether you should enable this setting depends on your specific PC setup. For some it improves performance while for others it may cause issues. I recommend testing it yourself to see what works best. Now let's move on to the Nvidia Control Panel. First check your resolution and refresh rate. Set these to the highest possible values. In my case it's 1920 to 1080 and 165 Hz. Next go to 3D settings tab and select adjust image settings with preview. Move the slider to performance. This setting automatically adjusts all 3D settings for best performance. However, there is one setting we need to change manually. Power management mode. Set this to prefer maximum performance. The next tab of interest is adjust desktop size and position. If you play at 1920 to 1080 or other full HD resolutions or with black bars in a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, leave the scaling mode as an aspect ratio. If you play with a stretch resolution, choose full screen. For perform scaling on, most of you should select GPU. While some high-end monitors can handle scaling well, choosing display only applies to those select few. Lastly, ensure the box of override the scaling mode set by games and programs is checked. With the PC setting done, let's move on to the in-game settings. Before launching the game, set a few startup parameters. Many older parameters no longer work, so here we only use Novit to skip the intro video and High to set high priority. If you record videos on stream, add allow third-party software. I also use a few other launch parameters I'm not entirely sure about, but I'll include them in the description in case they are helpful to you. First, make sure your video settings are set to full screen mode. This is important because if you're using windowed full screen, your PC focus on other programs just as much as the game itself. Choose the resolution and aspect ratio according to your preference, but make sure your refresh rate is set to the highest available. Boost player contrast enable it. The setting adds a black outline around player models, making it easier to spot opponents against the map textures, giving you a slight advantage. 
Turn off your vertical synchronization. This setting locks your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate. For example, if vertical synchronization is enabled and your monitor is 60 Hz, your FPS won't go above 60. Multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode is set to 4x MSAA. This makes the visual smoother and more pleasing to the eye, preventing the game from looking too harsh. Global shadow quality is cranked too high. This setting is an in-game changer because shadows now respond to all light sources. It means you can spot an opponent by their shadow before they even come into view. Model texture detail is also on low. This only affects texture quality, which doesn't give an a competitive advantage but definitely enhances the visual aspect of the game. Texture filtering mode is set to linear. Like the previous setting, this one just boosts texture quality. Shatter detail is on high. In simple terms, this improves the quality of effects, like the fire from a Molotov cocktail. Particle detail is set to low. It enhances the quality of particles like smoke texture particles. Since it doesn't offer any visual advantage, it's set to low to save on FPS. Ambient occlusion is on high. Basically, this shading model adds realism to the image by calculating the intensity of light. High dynamic range is set to performance. It controls the brightness range between the brightest and darkest pixels. Fidelity FX Super Resolution is disabled for the highest quality. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is also disabled. It's used to reduce system latency, boosting your PC's reaction speed. The boost mode employs methods that can draw more power to the GPU and slightly affects FPS to minimize latency. These are all the game and window settings that can really optimize your PC for smooth gameplay, higher FPS and no input lag. It took me a lot of time to gather all the info for this video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Share your results in the comments, it'll be interesting to read what you got. That's it for now, see you in the next video, bye bye!